Hello students in the last video we have learned about adaptation for food in animals adaptation for blending with the surroundings and darwin's theory of evolution right now today we will learn about classification of living organisms and binomial nomenclature by carl linnaeus so let's start with the classification of living organisms students what do you mean by classification let's see as we know there are millions of species of animals and plants living on this earth species means animals or plants of the same kind so in order to study them it became very necessary to group them so when you group them that is called as classification now why are living things classified let's see living things are classified because it is difficult to study and remember all the organisms in this diverse diverse means different living world at the same time so classification helps in this respect different scientists have used different criteria and independently classified plants and animals a hierarchy is formed in the classification that starts with kingdom animalia or kingdom plantae for the groups and subgroups are formed depending upon basic similarities that is what are the similar things in these groups of species and the major differences that is maybe difference in the food habits or difference in the parts of the body so these similarities and differences they group together so this is called the hierarchy of classification hope you all understood students classification of living organisms right okay now let's move forward now we'll learn about binomial nomenclature by carl linnaeus now students what is mean by binomial nomenclature let's see students just imagine that there are four students with a name kabir or kiran in a classroom if you are talking about any one of them how would you ensure that others know which one of them you are talking about without any confusion we would tell the full name that is the first name and the last name this is similar to binomial nomenclature binomial nomenclature is used to identify each organism accordingly a scientific name has been assigned to each organism it consists of two parts the first part is genus and second species all identify organisms have been assigned a binomial name as per the guidelines of the international code of nomenclature all the organisms of a species are so similar that irrespective of differences in color height habitats and habits they can reproduce among themselves and form new individuals like themselves for example all domestic cats in the world belong to the same species the same is true in the case of animals like hen cow dog etc and plants like mango wheat maize etc now here is a chart these are examples of organisms from kingdom plantae and kingdom animalia they are classified by the binomial method of nomenclature that is they have two parts to their name the first part is genus and second part is species now dog the scientific name for it is canis lupus familiarius cow is bos taurus hibiscus is hibiscus ros a sinensis and jowar is sorghum bicolor now in the same way find the scientific names of other animals and plants in your surroundings always remember students 29th april is observed as world frog protection day killing or harming frogs is prohibited by the wildlife protection act so students here we have completed our first lesson hope all of you understood this lesson properly right in the next lecture we'll discuss about exercise of this lesson till then stay home stay safe thank you everyone